maybe a couple of hours away from kickoff. Uh, the um, there's a mixture of anxiety, excitement. Um, you're, you're you're excited about what what could happen. Those are the positive thoughts that you think you're thinking. But there's there is that little line underneath that just says, you know, maybe I've been in football that long that something doesn't go as just planned all the time. Most of the time, to be perfectly honest. So um, so yeah, it's a, a it's, it's mixed emotions of um, excitement, anxiety, stress. Um, but you know, you know that, that feeling because you felt it so many times. The 90 minutes on from here now, and it just sets you up nicely for the rest of the week um, until the next game. Um, although, to be perfectly honest, you say that to the next game, I allow myself maybe, um, what, uh, a day, a, maybe even two days sometimes if it's, if it's a midweek we're without a game, but then your mind just automatically switches on to the next game. And then the build-up to again starts again. So we go through it all, all again. Kelly picking up, picking up here. Who's got the five coming in? There is nothing like the buzz and the kick uh, and the adrenaline rush you get from it from seeing your team. I used to feel it as a player, but it was it was in, in the times of the teams that were successful in. And as a player, it was great. But there's nothing, nothing like being in charge of a group of players and a, and a staff and a coaching staff. And when you when your team wins. And that's the buzz. And then many, many times we've come back when we thought, um, particularly on a away trip, you're coming back and you think, he's feeling good. And you think, yeah, that's, that's why we've done it. It was two or three times last season we did. I particularly remember Bogmin. Kirk Davies with the free kick aimed towards BT. But, uh, oh, and that's another own goal of the game. And that looked as if Danny O'Hagan had the final touch. The Bogmin substitute used to scoring goals at the other end of the park as... Uh, Made the scoreline here at Priory. Bobby one, Helston five. You know, coming back for, for the week, and we won 5 1 over there. And the young boys, everything clicked with them, as I know they can, but it's just the consistency level. Wasn't it? And that feeling was like, wow, that's, that's why we do it. That's why we do it for those little times. And there are only a few of them. I remember, I remember saying when I first week worked with Pete, Peter Masters and we went away, uh, I think it was my first game away from home. I think we went up to um, up to the Midlands somewhere, um, and we won. I think we won two, two one. And there was a, a small band of the Toro fans, which they always do, and they were shouting across across the ground. They were shouting, "Peter Masters, only one Peter Masters." And I said to him, "Go and milk it." <laughs> go. He still reminds me today. Go and milk it. Go and milk it because do you know what? There are far far too many downs in this game. So grab those opportunities and, and milk the good times. And that's why we do it for those for those good for those good times, those buzz that it gives you. That was uh, that was that was as good as that was as good. As, and if you if you if you look at it, this is how we want to do that. That you could take that you take that and say this is what we want because it was bang bang. Slate, magnificent, magnificent. I'm 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 a little frust frustrated. We haven't really got. We had one or two one or two injuries because Liam Lee, Lee, Eddy, Josh Story. A boy that's done his ACL, MCL, he's got an operation soon, he'll be out for 12 months. With that, uh, Phil Katz is away as well at the moment, not back till the end of this, end of this month. And it's been a bit, been a bit bitty. Um, the pre-season was good, uh, training-wise, and here it was a great vibe, we worked really, really hard. Um, and then it's been a little bit disjointed with players coming in, but that doesn't, that doesn't bother me. Um, I, I was really surprised and disappointed with the result last week. I didn't see that coming at all. I still thought that there were enough us in the squad, and we will. It's a totally new squad with the with the with the um, uh, the, the youth uh, coming coming through, which we're very very much into here, and the senior players that we that we brought in to actually help those young young guys, uh, give them the give them the confidence and the stability about being in the t being in the team and playing at this level. You know, um, it shows how far we've come as a football club. Uh, Two seasons, this is my third season now. Two seasons ago, being beaten at home, although it would have hurt us in here, and did it hurt, and that's another thing, factor you, you have to settle that. Well, the highs, there's the lows that you feel about. Um, the, the distance and the, 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 the acceleration of the club, overall, where, where we've come to now, is that um, we got beat at home by Liscard last Saturday, and Liscard get team, team of the week for, for achieving that. And that had happened the last two seasons ago, it had just gone under the radar, nobody knew about but that, that, the players have got to, got to be able to deal with that. They can deal with it, but we haven't, 
you know, one or two people have said, oh, the health of favourite's going to be thereabouts. I expect us to be. I expect us to be there, thereabouts. Um, that was always my aim. Stuart and I, when we came here, that we would be, in my third season, we would have a, a squad and a team capable, capable of challenging for the title. That was part of the 2020 vision with the, with, with, with the youngsters. And that we certainly have, but we've got to earn that right yet at the moment. We haven't, we haven't um, certainly didn't earn anything uh, to justify getting anything last week. There was, there was lots of little, little things. Um, I perhaps even myself maybe had square pegs in round holes. Just, and I'd, I'd, I'd had them watched. We just uh, tweaked a little formation because I knew where their strengths were. Um, and, and overall, though, the players, the players will admit we were, we, were, we were all off it. We were all off it. Sometimes you can get away with two or three guys maybe having a, an off day. And if you've, got, if you've got seven or eight at it, six or seven at it, um, you've, got a, you've got a real, real good chance as a team. But uh, we, 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 we probably didn't even have one or two at it last, last week. Um, and we huffed and puffed, um, and we just um, and, and, and we didn't didn't deliver. But Wednesday night against Wendron was much much better, regardless of the result. It was much much better what what I wanted to see um, with the with the energy levels and things. Um, and I think yeah, Wendron will say, oh maybe it was, <laughs> they could have got something from it. That's 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 football. How many times have we? Played games the last season and not got out maybe what what we what we put into it or maybe we thought we should have deserved, um, but I think we have fully deserved it. Um, Alfie Flat took his goal superbly well. Um, so what if it was a last last minute, first minute, last minute? It's in it's in that it's in the time of the game. So so what? So and um, it's certainly not. Um, of, the, of the games that we had in the first five 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 six five six games we had, we had um, I would I would hope that. Uh, that Newquay was probably going to be our toughest one, and it, and, and it was. Um, but we we managed to, to grind out a, a real, real hard-working 2-0 win there. Um, and that's what really surprised me again then when we come back to Bliscard, we've got this run of home games now, um, that we just didn't take it on from there, just didn't take it on from there. But that's my responsibility to do, to make sure that the guys are, are up for it. question I was going to ask next was... What's, what's Lee Robinson doing here? <laughs> well, there we ask the man himself right here. Um, I've, I've, um, Stevie Jewell, uh, as, as you know, for the last two years, had, had been alongside me in the, in, in the dog. And I, I like that. I like two or three people who I, uh, who I can trust um, and responsible, know the football, just to even sort of bounce ideas off, to, uh, so I'm particularly in the dressing room. And, St and Stevie, because of his workload at the moment, um, and home commitments has, 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 um, has just actually taken, taken uh, a bit of leave at the moment. Um, and I just felt a little bit exposed, to be per perfectly honest, in two, two of the three games, two games. Um, and I, knew, I know Lee from a long time. And um, in fact, I, it's on record. If I hadn't have actually taken this Helston job here, Lee and I had already spoken um, this was two, three years ago now uh, at length. I'd been up there two or three times, met the board, the chairman. Um, and I, I loved what he was doing at Taunton. So it was dead, dead easy for me when Lee said, come and join us at Taunton. And that's what I was, that's what I was going, to, going to do. Um, and then this came up and I just thought, oh, no, I, I, I'd like to be, I can be really, really hands-on here. <laughs> really, really hands-on. Um, so again, I went back, back to Lee. I said, maybe we can make it work. A bit of half-half. I was going to oversee the job here then, put a manager in. And I just fell deeper and deeper into it. And then we, then we said, yeah, I'm going to be staying down here, Lee. And that. So... Um, and then, um, you know, it was great that he came down to be the Truro City manager. I mean, uh, I don't have to say anything about that. I think it's just a very, 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 very difficult environment to work in because I know it. I've worked in it. I know what I was doing. So, so I, 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 know, I knew Lee was, uh, was, was available. And I, just, I just phoned him uh, last week to say, would you, would you be interested in just coming down, having have a look, having a look at us and things. And, um, and that's exactly what he's doing. I hope maybe that it will go a little bit f further and we can maybe make it permanent. But... Um, that to be down to Lee himself, but he was, he was great. The boys uh, reacted to him superbly well. He was great in the dressing room on Wednesday night. What he said was spot on, spot on. And, it, and you know what, as players, because I've been there myself, it's just nice to know that that message you keep sending is actually reinforced by another voice and particularly as well respected um, and uh, as successful as Lee's been in the game. So it's a, I think it's a huge, huge coup if we can, we can keep him here. But right at this moment in time, he's just um, maybe keeping him, I like think maybe he's keeping his hand in as well. And I said to him, if anything comes of it, and, he, <clears throat> and it just elevates his profile out there, and all that, then, 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 then great. You know, it might, it, it, hopefully, we will win-win for both of us. Uh, 
the boys know, all the boys know, we speak to them individually and collectively that, that yeah, we're not, they're not fine. It is, it is a bit stuttering, stuttering at the moment. Um, but um, they, they look around the dressing room uh, and from your, from your the, the best, the best talented under 18s, youth players in the county that, that, we, that we have here. And then to, the, to arguably, arguably some of the most uh, talented senior players in Cornish football, they're all in this dressing room. They're all in this dressing room, and it's just okay, it's my responsibility, um, which I, I I really love and get a buzz about, to actually um, make sure that that mixture like, all comes together, um, and and it, and it starts to starts to work. But um, there's no there's no despondency or anything. We've we've we we, we lost a game of football to one to Liscard um, at the end end of the season. Um, um, you know, I might look back on it and think that was a, just a little bit of a, a kick up the backside, if you like, really, um, of where, where, where we needed to be and, and what we needed to be. So um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, um, uh, there's, there's probably a little bit of ex excitement, but um, anxiety, if to be per perfectly honest. And we've got to just, just ease that out. If we go 1 0 up, 2 0 up, we'll go and thrash teams. But at that moment, it's just, Getting that there, and a little, little, little bit nervy, a little bit nervy, um, but um, it will come. It will come. There's too much talent in this dressing room, not not for it to. In the 91st minute, a hat trick for number 10, Mark Goldsworthy. Hulsan Athletic 4, Goldsworthy 0. 